Hey, how's it going today, Aquarius? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Just about to do you guys a um, love reading. I'm gonna do singles and couples. And what I do is the singles reading first and the couples after, and I mark the, um, <clears throat> the, the time for the couples reading in the description box. So anyway, welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, really appreciate it remember to subscribe while you're here and like and share my videos i really appreciate that support so um <clears throat> i'm shuffling the gilded tarot deck for you guys to do the readings just keep in mind this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate 100 percent with everybody so take what you feel applies to you um, that you connect with and just leave the rest if you would like a personalized reading, um, I do take clients, so send me an email at ariesfiretarot at gmail.com. I've got all the information in the description box of every video I post too, so, or the about section on my YouTube channel. So anyway, I'm just gonna shuffle a couple more times and then we'll be ready to start doing your love reading. So I'll go like, I'll see four or five weeks ahead. So end of December um, and into January. So I'm almost ready, you guys. Okay, so I'm good. I'm gonna start doing Aquarius single love reading. I need to push my sleeves up. The sleeves drive me insane, but it's winter here, so I don't have a choice. Okay, so I've got the death card for you guys right off the hop. So um, so the, the death card, it just means that something's coming to an end, right? Or something has to end. Um, it could be, like when I see this card related to a, a singles reading, I would say it's time to get over your ex, basically, because I don't know what else is there. Or, um, and I got the phrase, put into my head, you guys. Um, I'm just relaying messages that I get from my spirit guides. So, and this one said, um, stop feeling sorry for yourself. So if you were dumped or you got broken up with, um, you know, it's over, so move on. You know, um, I have kind of a blunt style, you guys. So if that's not for you, um, I'm sorry, but I think most people really appreciate straightforward. I'm not going to beat around the bush when I do um, card readings because that's just not my style in life um, at all. So I'm not going to be that way on my tarot channel. So um, yeah, I do see that it's time to move on. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop looking back in time because you can't make time come back, you know? Um, if you if we could that'd be a different thing okay nice so the next card i have for you guys is the three of cups which means um some sort of celebration and i see this with your friends like you are you might be getting out of a rut of this sort of like dismal thinking um sort of negative thoughts and just go hang out with your friends and sort of blow off some steam and shake off the cobwebs of anything you might be sort of not doing that great about I mean and it it looks like you're gonna have a really good time uh you know there's a lot of celebrations coming up here uh with the holiday season we've got New Year's Eve coming around um you know um whatever you celebrate for spiritual or you know Christmas or whatever all those holidays it looks like you're gonna have a really good chance to just go and mingle with people um your family and friends and sort of you know get your vibration going a little bit higher right because when you're oh and I got I got pity party yikes you know um if you're doing that then that's what you attract so that's that's the point I'm trying to make I think roughly so I've got the ace of pentacles here for you guys so uh the ace of pentacles is is related to receiving um some sort of influx of material goods. Um, this could be related to some sort of legal document coming in, um, but it looks like you're gonna <clears throat> start off 
the new year with a little bit of finance. And I think you could possibly meet somebody in the middle of this transaction. Like in a, in a good sense of the word, you know. Um, it's funny, you can just meet people randomly, you know. Um, some, so many people have stories of like, oh, I just went here and I met, you know, the love of my life or I met my partner or something like that. So if you are like negotiating something, if you have a new lease coming up or something like that, you might just bump into somebody on the way or it could be the person that ends up helping you. So um, you never know when love is gonna tap you on the shoulder, right? I also see here the nine of wands, you guys. So the nine of wands is somebody that has been sort of they were having kind of a tough time and like they're they're going forward despite any sort of um, challenges, but tired and sort of taking a knee here. So I'm gonna see if I can give you guys the cards here for a sec. So you have one card over here, which is the death card, which is like something needs to come to an end, right? Um, let me push these over a little bit for the camera. Oh, there's just no good angle. Um, so anyway, death card it's saying okay you know something's got to stop some habit or some sort of um way of thinking or whatever and then on the other side you're really tired and you're taking a break here so you've got two cards that indicate a little bit of um i want to say lethargy you know when it comes to your life in general and your love life specifically but then in the middle You've got two really great cards here with the Three of Cups, which is, this is a party card. This is people getting together and, you know, cups. I think in this case, they're sort of representing um, like the festivities around the holidays um, and the cup is being full, happiness. And then you have another card here, which is the Ace of Pentacles, which is a sign of something coming in for you. And it's going to be a really big blessing. And I do think this is related to um, where you live for some reason. Um, but it could be anything coming in, right? So um, it's it's like you've got a mixed bag here and you can't quite make up your mind which way to go. Like, so I think you need kind of a kick in the butt to keep going, right? To just sort of focus, focus and move ahead. So, I mean... <sighs> And I, I just want to say that I think this kind of stuff happens to everybody where you sort of, like, you need to get out more. Like, that's what the Three of Cups is saying. You, you, you get out more, not just because it's a holiday or a specific day that you're supposed to go party with your friends. Get out more. And that'll actually sort of lift this sense of you're tired. I think you're drained from dealing with a lot of situations, but possibly an ex more than anything. Okay, so I've got a different deck here in my hands, you guys. This is the Doreen Virtue Romance Angels Oracle card. So I'm gonna pull this as part of your um, love reading, which looks a little lukewarm right now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, like, so, and I think it's because you guys are lukewarm. You're You're not very excited about stuff. But you could be. Three of Cups. Party on, dude. Okay, I'm going to pull the top romance card. Um, forgiving and learning, it says. So I'll show you guys this card quickly. Um, and the guidance is, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I think that's exactly what I was just talking about, where you guys are sort of maybe stuck in a rut of thinking about how amazing your ex was or um, how much they hurt you. Like, you know, just sort of like reminiscing over and over and over again, but it's not helping your current situation, right? So we have to look at this guidance here where it says, as you release and heal the past, which I think you're doing, but you're finding it a bit exhausting actually, um, you experience more love in your present moment. So I think you definitely need to get out of the house 
go mix with your friends. Um, you might be moving as a result of this breakup, so that could possibly clear your head a little bit more. Um, you could possibly meet somebody after this, but I'm not seeing anybody coming in right away. Um, I could be wrong though, so uh, let me know if this is you guys down below in the comments, um, how you're feeling about your recent breakup or whatever, comment anything you wanna say, but let's keep it civil, please. Um, really appreciate that. So you guys, I'm gonna leave it there for the singles reading and I just marked the time here for the couples. So um, you guys, you're welcome to hang out for the couples reading as well, because there could be stuff that applies to you too. But anyway, couples, I'm shuffling the um, Gilded Tarot deck for you right now. I'll f do four cards. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? I need to clear the deck. Hold on. We'll try that again. Much better. Much more successful. Much less embarrassing. Okay, couples, Aquarius, relationship, partnership. Got a card or two throw themselves out of the deck at me right now. So the first one I see is the Queen of Swords. Oh, whoa. Uh, that's too many. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put the cards down. Um, Queen of Swords. Uh, this type of energy is somebody that is like, they know exactly what they want, right? And they, they don't make any sort of mistake about what they're going about. I think this is you in your relationship. Um, so the Queen of Swords is very, uh, like a high energy when it comes to their job, their family, everything. Um, they're one of those, like, I wanna say super achiever actually, and I do think this is you, and you're really, you strive at excellence in every part of your life. Um, but it looks like to me, with the Three of Swords here, that sort of single-minded behavior, I think it's possibly, it's hurting your partner a little bit. Either that or this is your partner and this is you, but I'm getting the sense that this is you. Um, it's really important when we are um, achieving goals, when you're in a relationship anyway, to remember that you have somebody waiting at home, waiting for your call, like making dinner or whatever, right? And um, I see that's being kind of left by the wayside in favor of whatever goal you're trying to achieve. And I don't think it's intentional at all, but I mean, somebody is getting hurt here, but you can see um, the way that the card clears up, like the skies are dark and cloudy and then the skies are a little bit lighter and fluffy. So it's going to clear up, but I think it's gonna take a little bit of effort um, on your part. This could be your partner, but I'm getting the really strong sense that it is you. And I do need to shuffle the cards here again one more time. And then I'm gonna do it one more time after that because I really blew that shuffle. So, um, hold on. Okay, top card. Um, I've got the moon here for you guys. So the moon is a reminder to look at things in a different frame of mind, basically. Um, you know, things can look a little bit different in the moonlight. Um, so, hold on for a second. So as I was saying, things can look a little bit different in the moonlight and sometimes the shadows cast by the moon can make things look a little bit not as they are. Um, so I'm getting sort of um, an energy of deception, um, trickery, and I think this is the impression that your partner is getting. Um, I, I don't think they quite believe that you are simply wrapped up in work or, um, and I do get the sense that somebody is quite, quite involved in a business venture or just trying to get promoted or, but, you know, in, in that effort, sort of losing sight of what needs to happen also 
to make the relationship successful and then it's actually causing some pain and um, some doubt on the part of the partner. However, I don't see any shenanigans happening. I just do see some hurt feelings and some like racing thoughts, you know, where the person is like, they're jumping from one conclusion to another and they're like, well, you know, they're always working, so blah, blah, blah. You know how, I'm sure it's happened to all of us, so you get it, right? So um, you kind of want to nip that in the bud. So we have the King of Wands here for you. And the King of Wands is really, really powerful card, right? This is somebody who is, again, they're really um, high energy, high powered person. They're a super achiever, really. They like to get things done and then move on to the next thing. They're more of a, like you could find this person in something that takes a, a lot of energy to acquire. So they could be in something like, sales or they're like a realtor or something like that where they have to put in a lot of energy to sort of execute a deal and then they're moving on to the next one they're like boom 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 so I think this is again I'm, I'm seeing this is your energy here and I'll show you how these cars pa cards uh, panned out on the on the table here for you I'm, I'm gonna show you um no, no, oh. Okay, so you've got two cards in the middle that are like hurting and sort of, you know, the head and the heart, head and the heart. They're, um, they're in pain. And then the cards on the outside, they are um, strong and going for it and just um, on to the next one and like actually having a great time and being super happy and it, these cards I, I'm getting the sense that these cards on the outside like the king and the queen is you and then the person like that these cards relate to here in the middle with the the hurt feelings and the assumptions and the um the sort of feeling neglected a little bit is your partner so um like what I'm getting from this is like if you want this relationship to last, you might want to start doing something about it. You know, like all it takes is, you know, if you live together, pour somebody a cup of coffee in the morning or um, leave them a note somewhere. Or if you have to leave early and they're still sleeping, send them a text me message later on that day. And just, you know, you have to keep reminding somebody that you're still thinking about them even though you've got your shit to do, right? Like you have your eye on something, but it could be really unfortunate if you lost the person that you love and that you would like to stay around um, due to like an external goal. So, um, and I've seen this happen and it's happened to me. Um, so I get it and I think I've been on both sides of it. So I, I think I understand it quite thoroughly. Um, and if you really care more about your career and you're kind of like so-so about the other person, I mean, let's just be honest with them, right? So um, that person knows what to expect and they can sort of decide on their own. Like, do they wanna wait around for you to have free time or, you know what I mean? Like, let's just, uh, put the cards on the table. So you guys, I'm shuffling the Romance Angels Oracle cards for you. And I'm going to pull a card out related to this reading that I'm seeing for a lot of Aquarius. It's not going to be every Aquarius couple out there. So um, remember, it's a general reading, right? So I'll, I'll pick up on vibes of a lot of people out there, but not every single person because I'm just one woman. Okay, so... Here we go. I'm going to pull the top Romance Angel Oracle card. Aw, okay, so that's nice. So this card says reconciliation, and it's all light and fluffy and wonderful, and it looks really loving. And the, the guidance, um, someone from the past is returning to your life. Okay, so, I mean, to me, that could mean that your past... Um, like how your relationship was before you got caught up in your goals, um, you know, that could come back or 
maybe maybe you're just not really super interested in this person you're with right now and you'd prefer to be with somebody else so this is up to you to interpret like um i'm just i'm just reading the card to you as they as it came out but definitely like the vibe i'm getting is that somebody's gonna have maybe a moment of realization and saying oh um you know maybe that is a little bit selfish or I could maybe involve my partner a little bit more um, and maybe put my laptop away in, in the evening um, or devote a certain amount of time to specifically spending with my partner. That's what I'm getting from this card here. Um, I guess some of you could have somebody come from your past and whatever. I mean, um, like I said, there's so many people out there. So um, just take what you can from this reading, you guys. Um, if you like the reading, give me a thumbs up and shoot me a comment. I respond to all social media and remember to subscribe to my channel. So I'll leave it there for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Stay blessed. Bye. Take care.